the best oil filter made for racing, Frammer Wix. Plus, we'll throw in a couple of regular filters just for good reference, such as the Fram Titanium and Fram Force. High flow, low restriction. The Fram Racing, engineered for high performance filtration, heavy duty steel construction, resists high pressure, surges, and external impact. Fabrication is high quality, so Fram claims. Heavy gauge steel tapping plate withstands high pressure flexing. Spiral shaped center tube provides protection against collapse. Low restriction racing media designed for high oil flow. Screen over bypass valve provides additional protection against larger contaminants. The recommended change interval for your oil and oil filter would be 3,000 miles or 5,000 kilometers. Next up, we have the Wix Racing Filter. Proven, improved horsepower, no dry starts, no leak, positive gasket seal, extreme burst pressure, Caution, not intended for regular street vehicle use. Exclusive features, advanced performance media, specially designed to provide high volume positive oil flow with low restriction, resulting in the right balance between engine protection and low oil pump drag. Zinc chromated plate base plate, low friction, corrosion free surface. Heavy can and cover, provides the extreme burst pressure up to 500 psi, necessary to take the abuse of racing performance engines. Metal end caps provides element strength and prevents filter bypass. High temperature nitrile components. Unfortunately, this part made by Wix gives a warranty disclaimer and they will not assume any responsibilities for your vehicle using a performance part. Now we have the Fram Titanium. Protection against 20,000 miles. Fram Power Flow Technology. Total grip surface, perfect seal gasket. Fram Power Flow Technology, as you can see, allows great flow under extreme conditions. You can see the grip as well, where the total grip gives you a much easier surface to remove the filter. The Fram Force Filter. 15,000 miles of protection, extreme driving conditions, hauling and towing. We see it has the total grip surface as well, advanced nitrile gasket, precision relief valve, synthetic blend media, silicone anti-drainback valve. Engineered for tough driving conditions, stop and go traffic, and hot and cold engine temperatures. Synthetic blend media provides 99% dirt trapping efficiency. Proven protection up to 15,000 miles when used with appropriate motor oils. Starting off with the Fram Titanium base plate and the Fram Force base plate. High quality, construction, durable materials. Let's move on to the Fram Racing base plate and the Wix Racing base plate. Now the Wix base plate it's probably one of the strongest base plates I've actually seen made. Zinc chromated plated base plate, low friction, corrosion free surface. Check out this design. I actually like the way this is made by the Fram company. They included the anti drain back valve into the base plate, which is definitely a big plus because I've seen even big oil filters such as these canisters get dents in them and other issues and it's nice not to depend on the stamp steel to hold all these components in place inside of the oil filter housing well you can check out this material it's made of a natural rubber not the greatest in the world but you can see they have these little designs on it that help to hold it in place as well and they even included this gasket inside to give it a better seal, which I definitely approve of. The Fram Titanium Bypass Valve and the Fram Force doesn't have a bypass valve, just a stamp piece of steel. Now we all know the stamp steel holds the filter media 
and anti-drain back valve and everything in place inside the filter so it doesn't move around. Here we have our oil bypass valve for the Wix. It's made inside this steel construction. If you'll take a close look inside, you'll see uh, the gasket and a type of spring. Now, Fram, unfortunately, for the racing filter, they do use the stamp piece of steel to hold everything nice and tight inside, but they actually use a screen over the bypass valve that's supposed to provide additional protection against larger contaminants, which I actually like this method. Now, the Wix, they use their typical coil spring, which is what I definitely prefer over everything else. And if you'll look at the oil filter medias, the Fram Force, as I was saying, it's really no different than the orange can of death. I will say there's no major quality concerns um, with the glue or the way the uh, filter media is actually made, like the pleats. Typically, most of the pleats are big gaps in most of them. Some of them smaller gaps. That one wasn't too bad. No rust inside the center tubing. I do understand that a racing filter isn't meant to be used a long time, but they're very expensive. Now, with that being in mind, you can see both of them have a steel ribbing to help give extra support. The end caps, unfortunately, for the frame racing are like the orange can of death. It seems like most everything is, except for that screen over the bypass valve. Now, I will say the Wix, there's no quality issues with this one either. You can see inside this Fram filter, the center tube is still. If not, this thing would probably completely fall apart. Uh, the glue doesn't seem to be all over the filter media like it typically would be. But the Wix filter, I actually do like the way they made this one. It's really high quality, um, still center tube, still end caps. The filter media seems to be a higher synthetic uh, quality material. And if you'll take a look, nice and even for the pleats. That way all of your oil and gunk doesn't gather up into one spot. Now, you've seen on the end, it actually has a place to hold the spring. A nice deep gap there that will hold that bottom spring in place. The Fram Titanium Oil Filter reminds me a lot of the Fram Ultra Synthetic. As you can see, it's made of a high quality uh, synthetic material. It as well uses a uh, screen backing inside of it. The gasket that had came with the Wix filter, well, you can see it has a similar uh, gasket type material on the bottom of this Fram Titanium filter. So if you can see the Fram Titanium and the Fram Ultra Synthetic, and they're both um, the same but one's a lesser price then you may want to go for the lesser price one since they appear to be made equal oh wow i definitely didn't mean to overdo it on this one i mean really just a little pressure and the entire canister just completely crushed now let's check out the fram racing filter it's not as strong as i thought but it's strong enough and unfortunately racing conditions can be pretty extreme so you have to decide that for yourself. You can see they give plenty of caution on the box and on the filter itself that it's not for street use. And it even tells you do not use one of these filters if they have like a dent in them anywhere. This is what I've said in previous videos. It's very easy to get a dent and even a high quality one like a K&N. We all know they make a great housing for their filters and even a small dent in that filter could cause you to get a lot of unfiltered oil. So just dropping it in the store or anything. Guys, please let us know what filters you want to see tested next. I have a really great one coming up. Thanks for watching. Nate's Interactive Auto.